The atmosphere is amicable, the conditions do bring out the best in everyone, and I think we're all looking forward to a feel-good game. It is quite a scene here in this grand coliseum bearing the name of the former president of its illustrious occupants, Estadio Antonio Vespuccio Liberti. But of course, we know it much better as the Mass Monumental. Everybody standing for the national anthem of the Netherlands. Well, that was impressive. Match that. A mouthwatering game this between two very high-quality sides, a treat for everybody here. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive, it changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction, and hopefully the style of contest. There's the whistle. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Virgil van Dijk. He's just about unbeatable in every department, Peter. He's strong, he's quick, he's totally dominant in the air. And what's more, he seems to really love a tussle. His passing's good too, and he never seems to lose it in important areas. I'd expect this team to notch up a lot of clean sheets with him on board. <laughs> I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender once upon a time, Jim. Messi. And Messi! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Di Maria, and it's Messi, Van Dijk, and it's intense this, this pressure from the front, oh what a mistake, and here's Messi, great challenge, time to perfection, oh he's enjoyed that, he evidently loves the contest, Bergwijn. He might be in here. Lovely ball into space. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. And he has been fouled there. Wriggles his way through. He is through here. There's the shot. Goal, the Netherlands. And it's...
It's the Netherlands who take the lead. Perhaps deserves a little bit of sympathy here because that's a goalkeeper's nightmare. It's, it's clear that the keeper was unsighted by his defence and by the time he picked up the flight of that, it was too late. After 31 minutes is number seven, Steven Bergwijn. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Di Maria. Di Maria's delivery. And Dijk is there to heave it away. De Jong. Berghaus. Dumfries. Now oh, he's taken off it, that's really well played. And now the breakaway just eases him off the ball. Martinez! There will be one minute added time. Oh, another save. Well, look, believe me when I tell you that goalkeepers work harder than anyone else in training, and that's why to be top class on match day, that was a majestic stop. This possibly the last play of the half. Tries to get it clear. And we hit half time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Hello, everybody, and a quick announcement. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. Everyone, please welcome to the field our players. Here we go again. Argentina don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back though. Now it's Martinez. So what can they make of this? Now it's Di Maria. It's a great ball. Ake gets rid without sophistication. It's all a little bit desperate, but it's got the job done. Yeah, they, they showed a vulnerability until the move was stifled. That'll have stirred a little concern. Gets away from his opponent. And he's had a hit! It's anyone's ball now. Keeper has taken decisive action. The attendance to for this break. match was 62,005. Gomez. No way through, so back. He's had a hit! Substitutions taking place. Argentina, corner number two then. Argentina are definitely going about this the right way. This is a really front-footed approach. You know, the interest value in this game might just take off from here. DePaul. Oh, great play! Opts to play it back. Now that... Oh, shooting chance! It's a goal! Argentina are level. Yeah, the right touch in moments like that is key to what follows. Oh, very neat and tidy. 
The goal scorer for Argentina after 72 minutes is number 22, Lautaro Martinez. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, this is to be expected, Peter, when you've got two strong teams of fairly equal standing. The outcome should all come down to finishing. Well, they deserve an awful lot of credit for their commitment to the cause, but it's a goal credit that would be most welcome now. It's a quick ball upfield. Played out to the left flank. Oh, that's such a good run. More of that, please. That's a throw. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this Bit case. Bit of an appeal, but nothing doing. Now it's to Paul. Martinez. Now it's Papu Gomez. Turns and goes back. Real More chance! Three minutes at a time. It's off target and by quite a way. Well, they shouldn't be dawdling at this stage. They need to get the ball in the mixer and quickly. Van Dijk. That's it. We're going to get 30 minutes more. Well, look, this has been a, a hard-fought encounter, Peter, so mistakes are far more likely over the next 30 minutes. So all square. We need a winner, and we will be back for extra time. Now on sale in the stadium hall. Stern test this for the endurance, for the character of the players as we head into extra time. Fires it in low. Blint. To Klassen. Bergwijn. And it's Luke de Jong. Gets his pass away. And he's, he's had a shot! A real chance and a real let-off. Well, we were anticipating this. They're very much set up for the counter-attack. And I don't see it changing anytime soon. So here comes the substitution. Substitution for Argentina. Number 26. Number 7. 
Rodrigo De Paul. Martinez. On the field. Number four. And that's it for the Number first half 18. of extra time. Please turn your attention. Yeah, 90 minutes long gone. 15 of an extra 30 have also gone, and the search for a winner is still on. Truly, this is a punishing game on bodies and heads and minds. The outstanding question, the only question, is there still room for one last bit of drama? And the action has already restarted. This has been enthralling. So, what do the last 15 minutes have left? Oh, he's had it nicked away from him. Di Maria trying to find some space. Decent hit! Perfection from Di Maria! Late in the day, this could well be it! That looks like a preconceived plan. Win the ball and then unleash. The goal scorer for Argentina. After 24 minutes in extra time is number 11, Angel Di Maria. Argentina get themselves into the lead. I just think this has been a lesson in character, togetherness and composure. I think most teams would have crumbled by now, but this refusal to give up is brilliant. Now the counter. Argentina probably could have... And that will be the final act. Argentina did it the hard way, a testament to their great powers of recovery. They have defied the odds. Martinez taking in the accolades, having been named man of the match, and deservedly so. Argentina leave it late, but in the end, it was great. Well, this looked like it had a, a draw written all over it, Peter, so credit where it's due. They found a way to win it, and they can take great satisfaction from uh, never losing that focus. Many thanks to Jim, and with that, it is a very good night to you.